So over here you can see that I have a character in character animator and if I were to drag in the hands of this character you can see that it moves without a problem but I cannot do same with the legs because the leg is not rigged in. But over here you can see that the limb IK is actually applied over here. So when it is applied what we can do is we can rig out the legs in the same way so that uh, it works as if uh, uh, the hands right here which I can drag in and work out uh, according to my will. So to do that first of all I'm going to open up the character right here and I have already divided uh, these two layers right here that is in left leg and right leg uh, beforehand so that I can work around with the rigging process. So now let us work around with the right leg first. So I'm just going to go around drag the origin point right over here just like this and then I'm going to go around and add in uh, handles right here. So I'm just going to go around and add in this is going to be uh, the hip right here and then I'm going to add in another handle and this is going to be the knee right here and then I'm going to add in another handle right here and this is going to be right ankle and then I'm going to click over here and this is going to be uh, the, uh, the heel right here and then I'm going to go around and I'm going to make this the right toe. I'm going to click on the right heel right here and then make it draggable as well just like this. So once I do that I'm going to go to record right here and now let's see what happens. You can see that I can actually move this around and it is starting to move like a leg but it's really like a noodle as you can see right here. It's, uh, it uh, seems as if there is no bone on the character. So to fix that out what you can simply do is you can go around and then add in the stick tool right here. So I'm just going to go around and then click and drag the area right here to make the bones right here just like this. Click and drag it right here and then what happens is that once I go onto the record section now you can see that it is more of a stiff level right here. So you can see that now I can move the uh, character feet as well just like this. I can just go around and then work around with the other leg in a similar fashion so I'm just going to go around keep this over here just like this this is the origin point I'm going to click over here uh, by uh, by making it the origin point right here the left hip and then I'm going to go around and then add in other points right here so I'm just going to click and click on this one I'm going to click over here and then click on this one I'm going to click over here and then click on this one that's the left heel and this one and I'm going to click on that one right there. Once I do that I'm going to go around with the bones click and drag it right here click and drag the bone click and drag the bone and then click and drag the bone right here and then I'm going to select the left heel and then make it draggable right there and once I go to record what happens is that now this feet moves along as well. So now over here on the right side you can see that you can apply specific details to arms and to legs as you can see right here just like this. You can work around with the stretchiness so right now there's no stretchiness right here. You can increase and decrease the stretchiness, the bend strength, you can increase and decrease the bend strength as if you would for the arms right here. So just like this you can go around with this and then adjust it further. So bend strength right here as you can see you can change that around. You can go for ankle flexibility as well so if you were to change that out you can see that the ankle actually rotates around as well. So you can just change around and you can see that it looks very very natural. So right now this is the ground detection. You can also turn it off so there's no ground detection at all as you can see right there. But if I were to turn on ground detection it does not go below a certain level as you can see right there. You can also go for uh, fit pinning and then you can pin out certain things and so forth. So that those are the level of flexibility you have with the limb IK inside of Adobe Character Animator and as you would uh, move out the hands you can also move out the feet just like that. So if you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe.